National Childhood Vaccine Injury Act, Wikipedia article audio. The National Childhood Vaccine Injury Act of 1986 was signed into law by President Ronald Reagan as part of a larger health bill on November 14, 1986, in the United States, to reduce the potential financial liability of vaccine makers due to vaccine injury claims. The legislation was aimed at ensuring a stable market supply and to provide cost-effective arbitration for vaccine injury claims. Under the NVIA, the National Vaccine Injury Compensation Program was created to provide a federal no-fault system for compensating vaccine-related injuries or death by establishing a claim procedure involving the United States Court of Federal Claims and Special Masters. Background NVIA Provisions Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System National Vaccine Program Office Vaccine Information Statements In the 1970s and 1980s, a controversy erupted related to the question of whether the whole cell pertussis component caused permanent brain injury in rare cases, called pertussis vaccine encephalopathy. No studies showed a causal connection, and later studies showed no connection of any type between the DPT vaccine and permanent brain injury. The alleged vaccine-induced brain damage proved to be an unrelated condition, infantile epilepsy. In 1990, the Journal of the American Medical Association called the connection a myth and nonsense. However, before that point, Criticism of the studies showing no connection and a few well-publicized anecdotal reports of permanent disability that were blamed on the DPT vaccine gave rise to 1970s anti-DPT movements. In the United States, low profit margins and an increase in vaccine-related lawsuits led many manufacturers to stop producing the DPT vaccine by the early 1980s. By 1985, vaccine manufacturers had difficulty obtaining liability insurance. The price of DPT vaccine skyrocketed, leading providers to curtail purchases, limiting availability. Only one company was still manufacturing pertussis vaccine in the U.S. by the end of 1985. In 1986, to correct the situation, Congress passed the National Childhood Vaccine Injury Act, which established a federal no-fault system to compensate victims of injury caused by mandated vaccines. The NVIA also mandates that all health care providers must report certain adverse events following vaccination to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. The NVIA also established a committee from the Institute of Medicine to review the existing literature on vaccine adverse events occurring after immunization, regardless of whether there was a direct link between events. As a result of the NVIA, the National Vaccine Program Office was established within the DHHS. The NVPO is responsible for coordinating immunization-related activities between all DHHS agencies, including the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Food and Drug Administration, National Institutes of Health and the Health Resources and Services Administration. The NVIA requires that all health care providers who administer vaccines against diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, polio, measles, mumps, rubella, hepatitis B, haemophilus influenza type B and varicella must provide a vaccine information statement to the vaccine recipient, their parent or legal guardian prior to each dose. Avis must be given with every vaccination, including each dose in a multi-dose series. Each vis contains a brief description of the disease as well as the risks and benefits of the vaccine. Each VIS is developed by the CDC and distributed to state and local health departments as well as individual providers. <laughs>